Yo, what is up guys? This is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro here and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the second June build of the Siberia OS for the Redmi Note 5 Pro and how is everything holding up over here. I'll show you like I'll try to show you everything over here of this ROM and first of all which I'm going to tell you about this ROM is this ROM is still based on the audio firmware not the Pi firmware so if you're still on the audio firmware that is when you should flash this ROM otherwise if you are on the latest Pi firmware do not flash this ROM or like do not even think about flashing this ROM let me just go into the settings and show you the settings panel over here as you can see it says Siberia OS to the left side over here and it shows your profile name and stuff over here to the right top and if you go to the about phone and if you scroll down to the android version here as you can see it shows the siberia logo android version is 9 and version is 2.5 the security patch is still of may 5th 2019 and baseband and stock kernel version you can see it from here let me just click ok and go back if you go into the system we do have the system updater over here as you can see you can check for software updates from here and it does support the ot updates this is the build by rashid and let me just go back the stock launcher over here is the quick step launcher you have the google now cards to the left as you can see and you have the double tap to sleep to anywhere in the home screen so this is pretty cool and the fingerprint scanner speed again is pretty fast over here no issues whatsoever as you can see fingerprint scanner speed is pretty decent let me just go into the settings you have the gestures option so double tap gesture i have set it to screen off you can set it to anything else if you want to and you, can, you have like a lot of customizations of the app drawer, home screen of this quick step launcher. So pretty cool stuff. And by the way, the stock camera over here is the MIUI camera and it works super fine. No issues whatsoever with the MIUI camera over here. And as well, you can install Google camera too. As you can see, I did install Google camera and it's been working super fine over here. And portrait mode and stuff, everything works with this Google camera. No issues whatsoever. And let me just go into the settings one more time and show you the like uh, Siberia settings. So over here, you get all the customizations features of this ROM. You have the system option over here. You have the general tweaks and animations and stuff. So you can customize whole UI animation and inside general tweaks, you can change the screen of animation to CRT or scale. And a lot of customizations like that are still present over here. You can even change the corner values and stuff inside buttons, like pretty good customizations regarding the buttons. And we do have the advanced reboot and stuff. Let me show you. If you tap and hold the power button, as you can see advanced reboot is there you can directly reboot to recovery fast boot or like whatever you want let me just go back and we have the privacy guard and stuff like that if you use them wake lock alarm blocker standby and aggressive battery option is there and talking about the battery well the battery life over here is pretty good i would say and this battery panel shows like dot ways it's pretty good i would say and the battery life is pretty decent i'm getting around seven to eight hours of screen on time or maybe more than that like it's pretty depending on your usage but yeah the battery life is pretty good over here no issues whatsoever regarding the battery life and inside over here we have the vibrate or on connect or like in call vibration stuff inside dialer of this settings and sound settings is there too you can like enable notification and stuff by the way the volume panels over here comes from the side as android pi and you can expand the volume panels like this so pretty cool stuff you can control the like normal notification volume media volume and alarm volume from here and put the phone into vibrate or silent from here so pretty cool features over here let me just go back from here and inside panels you have the status bar customizations so you can set the status bar items like whatever you want you can disable the like siberia logo if you do not want that and headset bluetooth hotspot etc icons are there and over here the volty icon shows as hd and dual volty and stuff like that both works and brightness control is there so you can just like adjust the brightness of your screen just like by swiping on the status bar like that and double tap to sleep on the status bar too is there so you don't need to worry network traffic indicator is there and clock settings is there you can change the like clock position and stuff and you can change the am pm style if you want to so it is pretty normal stuff over here and you can change the date format and stuff like that whatever you want like however you want you can customize it and notification ticker is there too and inside lock screen one feature that i miss over here i would say is there is no like always use fingerprint scanner option so that pretty much bugs me but yeah there is no like always fingerprint unlock option you have to enter the pin after you reboot so that is pretty much it what i miss over here in this rom but other than that everything else is present we have the like lock screen 
like clock style and stuff i have changed it to like android q style as you can see it looks pretty cool you can change the position of this clock to right or left let me just show you if you go over here as you can see android q style clock you can change the position to left or right over here and you can change the size and stuff so pretty much great customization over here let me just go back inside battery icon style you can change it to portrait or like big dotted circle and stuff like that it looks pretty cool and let me just go into the gestures we have the swipe to take screenshot so three fingers swipe gesture to take a screenshot just works flawlessly as you just saw and it does not scroll anymore so this is pretty cool and edge gestures are there so this is the full screen edge gestures and it works flawlessly over here inside navigation gestures as you can see like uh, you can enable this navigation gesture like one plus kind of stuff you, if you want to use that maybe use that and double tap to sleep and up like on the status bar and even lock screen both are present and long press power button to toggle torch is there so that works and if you go to the display settings of course we do have the live display and you can change the screen color profile to standard reading or dynamic and the display mode you can change it to night if you want it to be a little bit yellowish like this but you can turn it off too and color calibration option is there so you can change the whole screen rgb option and the picture adjustment is there too so this is pretty cool and let me just go like to the bottom and we have the ambient display but there is no like always on screen if you are like wanna use that but that feature is not really helpful for redmi note 5 pro because it does not have an amulet display but yeah the normal ambient display for notifications does work fine and we have the font manager too so a lot of fonts are present over here as you can see we have the plethora of options to like changing fonts so pretty cool options over here and system ui theme you can change it to light dark by default it stays to like automatic and it stays dark because the stock wallpaper is kind of dark so yeah you can change the accent colors to like whatever color you want as you can see we have lot of options over here and we have the switch appearance too and brandify settings panel over here so that it shows the siberia logo up there and let me just go into the settings like sound settings over here and we do have the me sound enhancer i have changed it to youth edition and sound output via the headphone jack is pretty amazing over here i have no complaints regarding the sound output via the headphone jack or even bluetooth both work super fine and regarding in call ui well i would say let me just show you we have the call recording option and you do get the video calling option too for normal calls and it's just not appearing because it's just a customer care number so recording call and video call option for Volti is like there no issues whatsoever for that and one more good thing regarding this rom i would say is google pay just works by default over here you do not have to do any kind of mods or tweaks for that google pay just works right out of the box and let me just open chrome now let's open file explorer then facebook Twitter, Play Store, YouTube and one more thing that I have noticed over here in this ROM, this ROM does not get like slow down with time, well which was happening with Havoc OS and stuff I would say but over here that's simply not the case it does not slow down with time at all and like everything is super fine like app open up speeds as you can see yes it does like stop some kind of apps or remove some apps from memory as you can see twitter has been removed from memory it's showing me white screen again but yeah that is how it is and instagram and stuff is still in memory let's open all that from memory again so youtube is still in, in memory facebook is in memory twitter is in memory play store is in memory instagram is in memory so no issues regarding no huge issues regarding the ram management i would say over here but one more thing that like again you have to remember that this rom does not slow down with time like havoc os or stuff like that i have been using this rom for a couple of weeks now and i would say that this rom is like working super fine so i did not find any huge issues at all over here regarding like any kind of too much glitching or like too much like hanging or stuff like that it does not happen over here at all the rom is super fluid no huge issues at all regarding the daily driving performance over here in this rom and let me just open call of duty and show you guys the gaming performance over here and while it's like loading i would say here is the andrews code of this rom Currently the graphics quality is by default set to medium as you can see over here from the bottom left.
So as you can see the gaming performance is pretty good over here no issues whatsoever and the ROM has been like working for me pretty well. So if you are into a custom ROM I would say you can definitely flash this ROM if you are on audio firmware again. So if you are not in audio firmware and if you are in Pi firmware I am not really sure which ROM will be best for you but if you are still on audio firmware this is one great of a ROM if you are really willing to flash this ROM. Thank you so much for watching this video guys, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet, this is Tito from Kerry and Dick, signing off for today and I will be catching you guys in the next one, bye bye now.